This is the start of video two for my final project video presentation. Um, to pick up from where I was before, as you can see from the bit error rate results for the three simulations that were ran, it is clear that it's it's essential for the purpose of wireless communication for a TDMA system to use a, an equalizer at the receiver. According to the bit error rates, communication will not be achievable. Having equalized the symbols at the receiver, ideally you would have zero bit error rate. Of course this is because of the simulation in MATLAB and this is an ideal situation for real-world applications, it will not be achievable. Nonetheless, you can greatly improve the better rate by the use of equalizer at the receiver. So, the main objective of the research project was to determine an equalization technique to counter the effects of ISI in a TDMA wireless channel. The RLS algorithm, which is a decision feedback equalizer algorithm, was chosen as the equalization technique of choice. According to the simulation results, the determination that was made from research proved to be effective and practical. Now I will go ahead and demonstrate the Manlan simulation. As you can see from the constellation, the received constellation without equalization is severely distorted. Over here, these are the equalizer weights. In other words, the taps are updating. And here's the equalized constellation. Ideally, the better rate of the equalized constellation comes to be zero. The better rate of the received constellation that was not equalized, which is can be seen over here, is 0 0.5175. As you can see, the results vary a little from the previous results. And once again, notice that the, the taps are updating as if they were real time. And now we have a better rate of 0 0.49 for the received constellation, and for the equalized constellation, a better rate of 0, which once again as previously stated, proved that the method that was chosen through research has been proven through simulation and map. Thank you very much.